next comes is the maps. So again, this is another way of storing the data in map, but this is different from the set and the list. The way it used to store the data is completely different. So this is my container, okay? Now here, the values, the map will going to collect will be the format of key and pairs, okay? So this is my first index zero, this is my second index, and this is my third index. Here, I, uh, I want to store a value in a map. So this is a map. I want to store value. So it will going to store in a format that it will going to divide it. The first row will be known as key and the second column, sorry, column will known as the value. This is the way how it will going to store. Like suppose uh, my map is there, I want to store one, okay? And corresponding to this, I want to store its string value. Then two is there. Corresponding to this, I want to store its string value for three. I want to store three, okay? So in a map, how it will going to store? At key, it will going to store this one and it value, it will going to store its unique value. For two, here two will be stored and for value two will be stored for three the three will be stored this is how it will going to store so this is the key and correspond to this these are the values which are stored here in the map so how we used to initialize our map is the this is the syntax map will come here then the data type of this value here the data type of key is integer type Okay, so we're going to add integer here and the data type of value. So here the values are stored in the string format. So here the data type will come in the string. Okay, then the map, name of your map. Okay, then equals to new map data type. Here will be the integer and here it will be the string. So this is how it will going to store my data. So here is example. Uh, I want to store a value in a map where key will be ID and the values will be the account record. Okay, so this is the complete record of account. So this is my map name equals to new map ID and the account. Okay, so the same whatever the data type you are entering here will be the same here also. Okay, so uh, what will happen like suppose there is an account record. Okay, so this is the account record. This is the ID of this record and here are all the values uh, like email or the type and the industry, all field values are here. So here at the key ID will be store of this account and then complete record will be stored here at the value. So this is how my uh, record, uh, data will be stored in the map. So whatever the data type you are storing in the key will comes here and for the uh, values will going to come here. So till now, uh, till here, anyone having any doubt, then we'll uh, do one one example for the list, set and map. Then we'll do, it will be more clear for you when we debug the things, how the data is storing here. So this is my anonymous window where we will be performing a scenario, uh, question or an example for list set and map, and we'll see how the data is stored in all these three collections. Okay. My console is visible to all, right? So first thing is we will going to declare and initialize our list, okay? list of a string i will going to create a list of a string here so for this list will be here my data type this time is a string okay and here you can give any name to your list but yeah it should be understandable it should not like be random number anything a b c d no okay so i want to store candidate name in my list equals to new this is how i'm going to initialize this the two parentheses and now next right. now in this list i will going to store the names of my candidates okay so now i think uh, this is this is the name of my list 
here are the two ways in which you can add values to this list so the first way is you can directly when you are initializing your list here only instead of these two parentheses or the brackets using the curly bracket braces here only you can add the values string values which you want to store in this list like the name any any name kanika okay so this is my first name i want to insert and the second name is like Indra, I want to insert here. Okay, so uh, here, next is, let's debug this. I want to print the values also, what values are uh, stored in my list. So this is the function system.debug, which will going to give you the values stored in the variable or any uh, list set or map. So this is the uh, system.debug is the function using which we can print or check the values uh, where uh, what values are stored in the particular list or the variables. Okay, system.debug. Then here I want to check the value in this list. Plus, this is the way. This will going to give me the values which are stored in this. That is the Kanika and the Indra. And this is will going to print as it is because this is added in the commas. Okay. Now the next is, this is the one way how I have stored the value in the list. Now the second way is, I want to store more values here. So what I will do, using this list, there is a function add. Okay, using this add function, again, I can enter more values here like John. Okay, so now at this point, three values are stored here. First, second and this third value are stored now again if you will going to print it out it will now going to give you three values and here if you will going to check it will going to give you only two values here again okay, now let's check the order also in which order they are inserted so at first i have inserted kanika then indra and then john so this is the way of i have inserted them let's check how they have stored so to check this, I will going to add a loop here. For loop will be added. How you will going to iterate your list? Whatever the data type is there, the same data type will become here. A string is the data type. Now here you can add any variable. Then the codes will come here on which list you want to iterate will come here. So this is my list name, candidate name and it will be added here. So this is how I can iterate over a list. So the data type will come of the list, then the variable name, and then the complete list to which you want to uh, iterate. So one by one values will come to this string or this variable and whatever I want to do, I can do inside this loop. So I want just want to print my values, how they have stored in this. Okay, system.debug is the function using which I can check this out. So I want to check value in this string. So I have added three values in this list. So three values should come into this variable str. This is of string type. So first time Kanika will, it will going to show, then Indra it will going to show, and then John. These three name it will going to show me. So till here, any doubt to this code? Like suppose I want to access the first candidate name also from this list. So how I can do this? for the first candidate and the first candidate is Kanika here, which will be available at the zero index, right? Which I have shown you here, like uh, how the values are 